Hey guys, Slinky here and welcome back to Dying Light Tips and Tricks and this is episode 7 I think. Or 8, I don't know. And today as promised we're going to have a look through the schoolyard. We're going to go through the school. Um, this isn't really a tips or trick, it's kind of um, gameplay really. So, I forgot we can't get in that way, we're going to have to go onto the roof and get in through the roof. Okay, another thing. Uh, just one thing first. On these, sometimes there's a, a loose brick that you can actually throw at the zombies, which is really, really good fun. I recommend throwing that. It is fun. It is so much fun. It's unbelievable. It'd be better if it would just let you hold it and just bash a zombie's head and that would make it slightly more fun. But, sadly, it doesn't. So, yeah. We can't always get what we want. Okay, it seems that none of the ways I usually used to get in is actually letting me in at the moment. So, what's with that? What the hell, maybe I have to go into the front door. Let's try the front door. Oh, God, him. I just want to talk. I'm just going to skip this. Come in, come in. All I want to do, Errol, I'm not talking to you. And I don't want to talk to you, Errol. I just want... Cease and desist. No, I just want to go through. I just... I just want to go through the... The school. Please. I just want to go through the school. I want nothing else but to go through the school. Please. Yeah, it's not... It's not letting me in. That's a bummer. It usually lets you in. Through one of these doors, but it's not letting me in today. So. A little bit of bad news for us today then. Oh well. I suppose we all have to put up with some bad news every now and again. So I can't get into the school at the moment. So, uh, yeah. That's bad news. Okay, well there is some things I suppose I could tell you. I suppose there is, yeah. Okay, um... I think I've touched on this before, but scouting the area before you, like, go in guns blazing or slashing all over the place is a very good idea. Now, scouting the area wise I like to go on a high building, obviously. It just tends to work better if you're higher. But that's just my personal preference. That might not be true for you guys. But for me, that is... My personal preference is being higher usually helps. <laughs> Granted, not all the time. Not all the time. It usually does help. Okay, that used to be a house, but, um, newsflash. <laughs> well, not newsflash, um, spoiler alert. You blow up during the missions. Um, during one of the missions, you're actually asked to blow up. You are asked to make it go boom. Wise plan, by the way. Whoever's idea it actually was to make it go boom. Um, congratulations, that was very wise. Okay, come to this location as well, if you're looking for stuff. It's just there on the map. Uh, it's a motel. But I remember going through this once and I actually found um, an American pistol. An American 9mm in one of the apartments. Or in one of the hotel rooms, whatever you want to call them. So if you want, you might have the same luck, so just kind of like, go through it. Um, see what you get. Let me know. Um, so, there's nothing in this one. There's some cigarettes. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave that door open just so I know that I've been in there. Okay, that's locked. So, there's only actually one way to get in there. You have to lockpick this door. Uh, I think if 
you lock pick this door, you can actually get in. I know one just nearly followed me in here. Okay, there you go. There's a lock pick. Uh, there's a, a blueprint, stinky edge. Uh, I recommend actually getting as many of the blueprints as you can earlier in the game because they might come in handy. Do you know it's kind of convenient? We just found a blueprint for stinky edge, and then a zombie with like all sorts of stench just cruises by. Okay, I'm just going to collect stuff in this room. Now I'm going to go out and I'm going to go up. The reason I'm going up is because I'm getting in to the locked door. Okay, which isn't that room. Which means I'm presuming it's not that room. Which room was it again? I'm sure there's a way in there. I know there is. I know there's a way in there. I was in there before. I just can't find it now. Um, it's, it is that door. It's number two. So if I just run back to number two. Oh, damn it. It is locked. Right, so if I go in the next door. Um, there isn't actually a way in. Okay, then. Let's have a look down here. Oh, this is just like the bathroom. The communal bathroom. Okay, the last time I'd done that there was a zombie waiting for me. Which is scary. Can you imagine that? You're going to take a crap. Next thing you know you've got a zombie trying to eat you. How terrified would you be? I would be pretty damn scared, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is like reception or something, isn't it? Maybe we can find some keys. I never thought of this before. Maybe we can find a set of keys. Let's have a look around. Household supplies. No. No, let's have a look in here. Duct tape. Um, I really can't see us finding a set of keys in a box, but let's try anyway. Because you never know. There might be. Uh, another thing I mentioned in the last in the last video that it, it would be wise to always carry around uh, a med kit or two. Well, with saying that, it would also be wise to carry around with you at all times a um, a couple of lock picks or something. That would be a wise decision if you were to make that decision to carry them around. Because you never know when you're going to need a lockpick. You just never know. I've always got medkits with me. I have 62 medkits with me just now. Because I usually do quite a fair bit of fighting the zombies. I haven't been doing that recently. Instead, I've been doing tips and trick videos for you guys. So, these are lucky. Congratulations. Um, I can't believe there aren't any keys. What's that through there? <laughs> there is something in there. Oh, right, it's the door. Never mind. Ignore that, people. Again, that was just another stupid mistake. Okie dokie. Okay, so. Night time is coming. I don't fancy being out at night time at the moment in time, so thank you for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video guys. Goodbye.